guys. Welcome back to the channel. Um, filming from Poland on this one, Krakow. And I'm staying at the Levishan House Apart Hotel. That's me and my partner Haley. And my name's Lee if you didn't already know. So we got three days out here. Um, we've got it, uh, we've got lots of things booked to show you along the way. We arrived um, two hours ago on the flight from Bristol to Krakow took two hours and five minutes. So we've been to the room, it's a beautiful room as you've seen. There she is. <laughs> this is Hayley, that's my partner Hayley. Some of you know her, some of you don't. Some of you wanna, some of you don't. <laughs> I'm a bit like Marmite. <laughs> Yeah, so we got a, a packed, packed break, guys. We got loads booked, just to show you guys. So I'll get back to you soon. Just had some pierogies now. I'm talking quiet because the restaurant is full. So the pierogies were smelling the garlic when we they were served to us on the plate. We had the I think they were called the Hesky dumplings, and they had potato and cheese inside, little bits of bacon and chives with a sour cream dip. Very very light, lovely. I had soup for starters and with them. I'm stuffed. So lovely meal, just those two dishes. But you've got to try some traditional food while you're here. Right guys, so that meal you've just seen there. So we had pierogies, myself and Hayley. Hayley was drinking Prosecco. I was drinking red wine. We had one glass each. Hayley also had a starter of chicken and basil soup with garlic bread and it came to in British money 36 pound good morning from Krakow um, I don't know if the camera is picking it up but it's snowing really fine which is nice and um, we're going to Auschwitz today so I'll do the talking now um, just a few things you guys, if you, if you are ever going to visit there, just a few things you to uh, consider, okay? So you have to take your passport, take your own lunch, and you're only allowed a bag and an A4 size, nothing larger. But please don't forget your passport, okay? Um, from where we are, from our hotel is, it's an hour and a half trip so it's going to be a long day so wear comfortable shoes as well so um yeah so i'll do the talking now obviously out of respect okay so i'll try and get as much as i can for you speak soon guys
Right guys, so that, um, so that was our switch when we go into the Birkin out camp now. Obviously there's a lot of places inside that you can't film, okay? But I've done my best to um to give you sort of a general idea, okay? Right guys, uh, so we just exited in Birkin now, and that's the end of the tour. Um, <laughs> I will give you an heads up, it's a lot of walking, a hell of a lot. So if you're not able bodied, think, you know, I'm good to think about it, because there's a lot of walking and there's a lot of people complaining. And we're trainers. We're trainers, or, boots, or walking boots. boots, something comfortable on your feet. Um, there was one woman on ya, I wouldn't mention her names, she had to sit, shave her moustache off halfway around to lighten the weight. There she is there, look. <laughs> so then guys, uh, this is the Cloth Hall Market. I'm just going to show you around. So we've just come up the new square tonight where we're gonna try some street food rather than having a meal and then maybe go to a few of the bars up here. Apparently it's a bit livelier up here uh, on some of the nights so there's some good bars up here. So we're just gonna try some of the street food and see how it goes.
Morning guys, Saturday morning, here in Krakow, Poland. Um, we've got another full day today. We're going to try and get into the salt mine. And we're going to try and do the, what's it called, Dave? Lost Souls Alley. Lost Souls Alley. It's like a extreme haunted house. So we try and have another fun park day today. So guys, um, so we're at the, the salt mine as you can see. Uh, we got the funniest driver ever, right? It's a, here's an impression of him for you. My name's Andre. 20 minutes. That's the way he is, right? He's very abrupt. Here's a picture of Andre. Everything in here is made of salt, guys. The horses went underground. That was the last time I ever seen daylight. Here's the girls we met from the valleys. So we've decided to go into the vodka bar. Right, so as you see we're in the vodka bar. I don't know if you can hear me, but um We've got six vodkas here and come to win British money around about £11. Okay, so we've now come to the vodka bar after the Salt Mines adventure because my legs are going to plenty of walking involved. We went down 135 metres and we only actually went 1% of the whole mine down. So you can imagine how deep it is. They say that to wrap up home before you go, don't worry about that, we were taking our scarves and our coats out. Oh, 
because the deeper you go, the warmer it felt. Um, Lee reckons his skin feels amazing leaving there. He's still got no clothes on, so it can't be that therapeutic. Um, if you are disabled, you can go down to the second level in the lift, but that's as far as you go where it's flat and you can use the lift for that. Um, and there is a souvenir shop, there's a little snack shop as well on one of the floors where we got to, because I think we only got to do three with it. And there's a snack shop here and a toilet break you can have, which is always handy, and then you carry on to the journey. And then to take you back up then, what I call a Willy Wonka lift. Basically, only nine people can fit in there, with me and Lee in there, probably about five. And it takes you right up in 50 seconds, the Willy Wonka lift, I call it. But you don't end up in the sky. So, yeah, be careful. There are loads and loads of steps to walk down. The good thing is, you ain't walking up. So, just a few tips there. Okay? Cheers. I wish we could video the smells of these vodkas because this one is mango. Lee loves tropical spirits and things. This one is very strong and it's mango. I can't drink it. The chocolate one is very, very strong. Even it's a really chocolatey, you can taste the strong vodka. So, what up? Sorry, here we are back at the vodka bar. Hey. This is Hunter. Yep. I'm uh, here from the US visiting and I'm uh, here trying the uh, Wormwood Vodka. It's quite strong, but a little herby. Mm. That's a uh, little bitter, but good. Goes down smooth. <laughs> Thank you, Hunter. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, great to meet you, Lee. So here we go guys, Lost Souls Alley. We've got Hunter with us. Here we go. Thank you Charles. Thank you. Thank you. Actually. <laughs> Put the heart of ice, the contents of the test tube, into the skull. Okay. Oh, it's probably like dry ice. Yeah. Christine. Yeah. Um, do not touch it. Wait for the concoction to stop bubbling and smoking. To be a witch. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Double, double toil and trouble. <laughs> well, we've just come back from Lost Souls Alley. What an adventure. If you like horror movies, films, etc., and you like a bit of danger, as we do, then it's definitely worthwhile. We went in and we said we were going to do the pink zone, which is basically the intermediate, begin well, not intermediate, the beginner's level, if you're a bit um, a weary. We ended up in a group deciding green, which was body contact. So that means as you go through this horror sort of house, they can touch you, grab you, hit you, and you can't fight, do nothing back. So we go through, Lee's ended up being tasered, and in the doctor's room, the nurses told him, get out of my bed and hit him with a full door which you'll see the cut on his head in future For the images. Now. Yeah. Um, basically what I tell him every evening. So no change here for me. <laughs> but we come out to there. Well, brilliant, brilliant. He was a bit weary about going in there. I wanted to do it. I love a bit of danger and the unknown. And well worth it. Well worth the money. Well worth a little visit. It's just up the alley um, off Reinick Lowney Square. You wouldn't see it unless you turned up, so you must type it in the internet to find it. But if you're it's about 20 minutes, that's all it takes. You've got to be able, because we were in our hands and, well, basically on our hands and knees in some situations, going crawl, crawling through it. And we had to hide in fridge freezers as well from the horror people in there. So, yeah, brilliant experience. So much to say about it and so much to think about and remember. No doubt we'll hear more tonight. 
Well, we'll remember more tonight, yeah. no doubt about it. But yeah, brilliant. So well worth a visit. Pop in if you're in Krakow. All right, guys. Lee's still recovering. You know, don't forget to see her now. But oh, man. I say I put a picture up for you, know, but um, I did feel concussed, to be honest. <laughs> I had a fair whack. <laughs> Fabulous night, guys. I uh, met a lot of people from Wales. We do crack with. Uh, Heidi's in the shop now getting some pierogies, chuck in the oven, and we're heading back to the hotel. So we speak to you in the morning. Good night, guys. Sleep tight.
Right guys, that's the end of our break. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, we did try to get as much in as we possibly could. Um, we were very lucky with the weather today we went to Auschwitz but as you can see it's turned on a dime now it's uh, it's minus 7 at the moment and it's due to go to minus 17 next week so again I think we timed it right but thanks for watching the video guys please put your comments down below please like this video share this video and if you haven't already please subscribe out